Uh, hello, my name is Jessie and I am currently doing an apprenticeship in library information and archive services at Surrey Libraries. Um, so that sort of consists of lots of customer service, a little bit of like event planning, sometimes like running story times and rhyme times for kids um, and lots and lots of displays as well, which I absolutely love doing. So I started sort of late October 2020 um, and I'm due to finish, I think around April, April or May sort of time, uh, depending on how everything runs for my project. Uh, so my project is a drag queen story time here at Guildford Library. Um, so I'm running it uh, with a pantomime dame who's going to be uh, telling stories to kids in our children's library. Um, so like a little, almost like a performance and sort of an interactive experience for little for little ones. I'm so excited. It's for um, LGBTQ uh, History Month as well. So it will sort of, that's February, so it all uh, joins in and links in together. Uh, so I was working at the National Trust in a visitor experience role. Um, so basic customer service, sort of helping people out at the uh, property that I worked at. Um, and yeah, it was it was great. I loved it. Like I, I've got a history degree, so it was sort of perfect for me. Um, but I really wanted to find something that was a bit more challenging and like fulfilling, which uh, then made me look for apprenticeships. Uh, so I had a little bit of experience in like archives and things like that through my degree, um, which I did at Leicester University. Um, and it was sort of, I just really liked the idea of learning, but also being paid. Like that's kind of the dream. <laughs> um, and it's a really good balance between learning new skills, but also using my previous skills and then also uh, like doing an actual job, like having a full time job whilst I'm gaining a diploma. It was this or a master's and I was like, uh, definitely would rather not be paying what, like 10 grand a year. You get more out of an apprenticeship. You get you get experience and like life experience, not just not just education, which for me that works like perfectly. Mm. Uh, so day to day, it's basically going between different service points. So at Guildford Library, where I work, we have three different desks that you can be on because it's a really big building. Um, so I'll spend like like maybe three hours in a day sort of doing uh, working with customers, serving customers. And then I'll spend another part of my day responding to emails, trying to sort out events, things like that. Um, and then sometimes I'll also be working on displays if we have any spare space, which I is my favourite thing to do. Um, always doing displays, it's like the most fun. Um, and then uh, another parts of my day are like just basic sort of library work, so like shelving, um, finding books on the shelf that people have reserved, and then we send them off to other libraries. And we also joined the Libraries Consortium, which means we get people reserving books from like London libraries and things now. So Essex, uh, Hounslow, all those sort of councils, um, their libraries, they can request books from us now, which is really exciting. It's definitely different than what I expected. Uh, I think when you think of like working in a library or like working as a librarian, um, which technically I'm not, but I, I say that I am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I thought of it, it was just like, you're just going to be shelving and you like just putting books on shelves or you're just going to be like sort of walking around and talking to people. Um, but it's not at all like, like I don't actually do that much shelving in a day <laughs> um, because I'm I do a lot of the children's sort of uh, stuff. So I reorganize a lot of the children's books. You get a lot of freedom in your role uh, because you can sort of do what you feel is needed at the time. Um, so if some if a customer needs serving, then great, I'll serve that customer. But if I'm sat on a desk with nothing to do, I will work on a um, work on some like arts and crafts or figure out what my next craft event is going to be and things like that. 
so definitely my, my big, my number one is I relaunched the Guildford Library of Things. Um, so that is an initiative that started, I think, in 2019 and then was just completely put on pause because of the pandemic. Um, and then last April, I relaunched it. So I rebranded, I catalogued everything, put every uh, thing that we had on our new system, um, like on our library system. And, and uh, so now people can come in and they can borrow things like a jet wash. We've got a carpet cleaner. Um, we've got uh, like all kinds of hand tools, garden tools. Um, and I'm working currently with Zero Carbon Guildford, who are a charity here, and they uh, are sort of helping with the promo. They're also helping with volunteers. I've got a few volunteers coming in from them. Um, and it's just a really amazing green initiative. So borrow, don't buy. It makes so much sense, like less waste. You don't have to buy a jet wash and use it once. You can borrow one for free uh, and just give it back when you're finished. Yeah a lot of work uh but it's finally like self-sufficient now which is amazing like people can just come in they can i've got all of our things what we, mm. they're just called my things um <laughs> pictures of them in dvd cases if people come in grab a dvd case with whatever thing they'd like bring it to the desk and we'll go grab them their hammer or tape measure or whatever they need so i've had very brief discussions with uh a few other charities, so um, Reconnections Guildford, we're looking at starting a human library uh, where you can come in and uh, there'd be like a group of people that are happy to just sit and you borrow one of those people and they tell you their life story, um, which sounds amazing. And then we've also got uh, Love Hazelmere Hate Waste, who I had a meeting with a couple of weeks ago, um, who'd like to set one up at Hazelmere Library. Um, yeah, and also Godalming Library is looking at starting one up, but I think that's like a, it's, it won't be run from the library system, it's sort of a separate thing, but the base would be at Godalming Library. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't expect to do that while doing an apprenticeship. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't quite realise how much freedom and how, like, how much I can do, um, even though I'm like an apprentice, it's it's crazy. After my apprenticeship, I'm looking at going into archive work. Um, so there's a few jobs popping up at the moment at the National Archives, which I'm very tempted by. Um, and that all going into like sort of community engagement within the heritage sector. So I've got a lot of experience with community engagement here at the library, so I work with like children's groups and schools and uh, like charities and things like that. Um, so I'd like to sort of, I mean, I've applied for a job at the Tower of London, which I think would be amazing. And it's uh, to assist in uh, school visits for their project that they have coming up this year. Um, so very, very much keeping my fingers crossed for that one. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, all bases are covered at this point. Um, so, I mean, I'm looking at also possibly doing a master's, um, but it's whether I need it or not is more the question. I might not actually need it for what I'm looking at going into. So, um, yeah. Well, I didn't know what my career goals were, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I left university and just started working at pubs and then the National Trust and now I'm here. So when I started my apprenticeship, my sort of goal was to end up doing a master's. Um, but now my career goals are very different to when I started. So now, yes, it's definitely helped to what I want to do now. Um, it, it's taught me a lot about myself as well as a person and as someone who like as a professional um i know that i never want to stop uh doing customer service i love it i'm great at it um i also love working with kids but i don't want to be a teacher so it's kind of like it's the it's really good balance between everything that i really enjoy doing um yeah
do it. <laughs> but there is no better way of, I mean, if if you're just leaving school, I, I wish I had done an apprenticeship um, when I left school because it very much suited my needs um, when, I mean, I enjoyed university, don't get me wrong, but that would have started me off a lot better and I'd be where I am now, but younger. <laughs> so just work hard. And if you're going to thinking about an apprenticeship, there's no, I can't think of any sort of downfalls. Like there's not really many negatives that come with doing it. Um, as long as you find the right one for you, don't just apply to anything that you think, oh, that's all right. Apply to something that you, that you want to do and that you want to spend two, three, four years is doing um like a hobby i love reading so i work at a library 